track the abhorrent it's I wanted this 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 track to have a bit more of the uh, old school like cradle influence in there and because the blast beats are kind of a bit of a trademark for us you know um, because it's like also like it's the, the the first proper track on the album it had to like have a bit of a kickoff um, with it and hence the reason it's got like some really cool melodies and stuff on there. Um, not, much else, not much else I can say but it really is like listen to it and you'll get a completely understand where I'm coming from it's definitely old school cradle this is my favourite track it's this is the direction that we wanted the band to go in uh, for this album you know we always wanted to have it had to have like the influences which which kind of like felt the, the band had lost over the last few albums um, it, 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 had, it took the influence, the, the, the punk vibe, um, the hardcore vibe about it, um, like right from what we used to be like back on like the very first album, The Principal of Evil Made Flesh. Um, after spending like a year's break, or roughly a year's break, before writing this second, this, this album, um, I kind of got a bit of a light bulb and thought I knew exactly what was missing. We, see, Cradle, we, had, we used to have like the aggression in there, we used to have like with the whole we don't give a fuck attitude and that kind of got lost through like the last few albums so this one had to have all that attitude back in again hence the reason bringing back the whole punk vibe the hardcore vibe and stuff because we always used to do it but it got lost for some reason and hence the reason why we brought it back now this is my favourite track I wanted to try and incorporate a lot of faster sections in there as well as the punk influence as well as some like, like almost Virgin on a doom influence, you know what we kind of what we were definitely into back in the day, you know the whole like what well, the band do, uh, Paradise Lost, My Dying Bride, Anathema, you know back in you know especially they they the sort of bands which influenced back in the day for when we done Principal, and I wanted to try and bring a lot more of that back into this album, especially on this track, but have like a, a kind of a modern tinge to a modern twist to it, you know especially on production and like and playability. Um, there's some really cool passages in this where it's go really slow and it, so it's really fucking dark. And I think personally it's worked well and a lot of other, a lot of people have said it's their favourite track on the album. Cradle has always had like the typical like, I don't know, commercial-ish track, you know. Um, well, I remember when I first wrote it, the uh, <laughs> a lot of my friends regarded it as the Judas Priest song, but I don't know why, but <laughs> they did. But this track, I wanted to come up with something which had really catchy um, chorus, like melody lines, guitar melody lines, you know, to kind of push it out a bit more of a limb for the band. Um, and hence, like, uh, I get asked a lot of questions about the solo and like why it's so simple. The reason why it's so simple is because I didn't want to do stuff which was filled with loads and loads of notes, you know, because um, when it first comes in, it, there's no backing at all, and it's solely, it's completely solitude on its own. And then when it builds up, the backing comes in, and it's so sparse, but it works really, really well. I wanted to capture like uh, a really intense like atmosphere with it, without cramming any like, millions of like shredding notes and stuff, and it works. 